Hey guys, Miss Naylor here. We're on page 98 of your roots book. You need your pen or pencil and your highlighter. We're doing the root ped, meaning foot. Many thanks to Casey Melton, Meredith Thomas, and Nikhil Day. Uh, Casey and, Mel uh, and Meredith put together a PowerPoint presentation for us, and then I have Nikhil's um, Prezi as well to help us out with this root this week, okay? Two words containing ped were originally concerned with getting one's foot in an entanglement. Impede, from the roots im, meaning in, and ped, meaning foot, meant to get one's foot into an entanglement, and thus hinder one's progress. Through the years, it has lost the meaning of the foot in an entanglement, and now has come to mean merely to hinder the progress of. Expedite, from the roots ex meaning out and ped meaning foot, originally meant to get one's foot out of an entanglement, and thus to speed up one's progress. Expedite, too, has lost the meaning of the foot in an entanglement, and today means merely to speed the progress of, to help along. You might say that a poor vocabulary will impede your progress in college, whereas a large vocabulary will expedite your progress by helping you read with more understanding. So our first root is again, head meaning foot. If it helps you to draw a foot there, maybe you should do that, okay? All right, our first word has two roots in it, cent meaning hundred and ped meaning foot. It is a noun. Centipede, a worm-like invertebrate, popularly supposed to have 100 feet. I also like the a little bit more realistic and a little bit gross picture that Nikhil chose, mostly because that bug does not look like someone I would want to run into in a dark alley. Um, so, centipede, here's our sentence. In the tropics, centipedes invaded our cottage. That sounds really gross. I'm really glad I wasn't there. All right, our next word is from the roots X meaning out and ped meaning foot. Expedient, literally, foot out of entanglement, but that's not the definition you want. So underline the second definition, useful in getting a desired result, okay? Also related to those two roots is expedite. Same two roots, X meaning out and ped meaning foot. To get the foot out of an entanglement again, but really to speed the process of, or to get along, okay? So expedient is an adjective and expedite is a verb. I would make a note of that, okay? Let's take a look at what the girls have for us. All right, so expedient, useful in getting a desired result. We see all these tools here, right? It might be expedient to start writing your paper long before it is due. I think that that might be correct. And then expedite to speed the progress of. To expedite your registration, fill out the forms ahead of time. Very smart. All right, we also have the word expedition. So here we see a little Lord of the Rings action happening, right? From those roots, X meaning out and ped meaning foot. Now, expedition is a noun. Again, you're going to want to know these parts of speech. They'll be important on that roots quiz, okay? The expedition to the North Pole brought back much scientific information. And Nikhil went with uh, some, some people here on an expedition. They're traveling, right? Oh, there. Oh, you over here. Move. There it is. Alrighty. Next word, let's see. Uh, impede and impediment both come from the roots im meaning in and ped meaning foot. So again, we're not going to use those literal definitions. We're going to skip to the secondary meanings that are more common today, okay? So impede means to hinder the progress of, and impede is a verb. Impediment is a noun and it means anything that hinders. Okay, so a road closed, if the road is closed, you are, uh, your progress is being hindered, right? So the road closed sign might be the impediment here. And let's look at our sentences. An inability to read rapidly may impede one's academic process, progress. Very true. And then impediment. The famous Greek orator Demosthenes had to overcome a speech impediment, so something that hindered him from speaking properly. And I definitely missed his name, I'm sorry. Demosthenes. That sounds better. All right, let's take a look at what the girls have. All right, in the Lady Killers, five men are building a tunnel to rob a casino, but a boulder gets in their way, so the boulder impedes them. It hinders their progress, okay? Or impediment, anything that hinders. A brick wall is quite an impediment. It would definitely keep you from getting where you wanted to go, huh? All right, our next word is pedal, a lever operated by the foot. Here we have the kinds of pedals you see in a car. You have your uh, 
the clutch over here if you drive a standard car one with a stick shift and then you have the gas pedal and the brake right or perhaps a guitar oh drag there we go a guitar effects pedal that's pretty cool called crybaby that makes me smile all right pedestrian just has that same root pet in it and it means one who goes on foot so you'll see here we've got some beetles happening that's right they're being pedestrians in a crosswalk i like it our next word is oh pedigree okay so it comes from three roots the french version of the root ped which is pied right p-i-e-d meaning foot de meaning of and gru meaning crane so like the foot of a crane and I know you're being like, Miss Naylor, how is the foot of a crane anything like what we're talking about here? Well, okay, so think about a crane's foot as having like a central part and then pieces that branch off of it, like the little toes that are webbed together, they're all connected, but that's what we're talking about here, okay? So if this were the foot of the crane and then this is the part where it branches out, okay? That's why. So a pedigree or a record of ancestry is like the foot of a crane. All right, so the, it's called this because the three line diagram used to indicate descent looks like a crane's foot or a record of ancestry, right? So our sentence, the collie's pedigree made him a valuable show dog. I'm sure it did. All right, and we only have one word left, get excited. All right, our last word is quadruped. A quadruped is a four footed animal from the roots quadru meaning four and ped meaning foot. So most mammals are quadrupeds. We as people, of course, are not technically quadrupeds because we only have two feet, but um, most mammals do walk on all four, so that is why. All right, and um, many thanks to Meredith and Casey for including their citations as well. I greatly appreciate that, so this is where all their images came from. Um, also, many thanks to Nikhil for making sure he had his presentation put together and sent to me so it could be used. Uh, you you'll want to make sure and turn uh, in page, on page 98, you're going to want to use exercise one to help you practice. Um, again, we have some words that are similar, so it's a good practice to go through and do exercise one, practice using those words and sentences. And I think that's the only exercise that's really appropriate for this week. So, um, my class, you'll also be responsible for having that Kia done by, by Wednesday, okay? Thanks so much.